So to get these uh, lengths of wax, uh, fresh willow was cut from my garden, uh, about eight foot lengths, and they were sent down to Pangolin Editions, where their foundry members place the uh, willow into a moulding agent so they could capture the branch of willow. And from there, once it, they've created a mould, they've been able to use injection wax, which is this, this blue uh, wax that I'm using, to create wax versions of willow. So what I'm working with is uh, lengths of, of willow that's got all the texture, all the bark, all the little leaf buds that you would see on a normal branch of willow. And what I want it to do is stay in the shape that I weave it into. So if I didn't heat it, once the wax cools, it would just pop back out of shape and go back to being straight. So I'm trying to work with it very gently, but also try and get a nice tight weave while it's still malleable. And then once it cools, it should set in shape and hopefully stay there. <laughs> So this section here has already got three large hoops all connected together so now I think I'm going to make a small hoop here to reinforce this joint and make sure that it's nice and strong. So I'm going to try and select a fairly thin length of withy. This is the tricky bit, is trying to attach it on to the first framework without trying to do, destroy or break any of your work that you've done before. And while it's still warm, it's still wanting to bend into shapes. So I've got to try and retain that circular shape and attach it to the former before it gets too, uh, too cool. It's going to the Chelsea Flower Show and uh, it's going to be part of my stand with some of my other work and then it's going to the University of Leicester for their uh, sculpture show in the Botanical Gardens and then its final resting place will be at uh, Melbourne River Gardens which is part of the World Heritage Site in the Derwent Valley. <laughs>